My name is Jill and I'm from Makeup First School of Makeup Artistry and I'm here with my friend Angelica. Angelica is a model. We met several years ago working together and we've done many photo shoots and modeling gigs and Angelica has agreed to be a model for us today for this tutorial. Many makeup artists believe that there's a distinct delineation between beauty and theatrical or glamour and theatrical and there really isn't. Today we are going to take our inspiration for a beauty fashion, theatrical makeup application, and we're going to take this picture of Lou Wen, who is now employed by Estee Lauder, and she's also one of Victoria's Secrets models. And I think this is a perfect example of where beauty makeup and theatrical makeup fuse together to create one gorgeous, one gorgeous application. So we're going to take from this picture, we're not going to duplicate it exactly, but we're going to draw from it and we're going to work with it. We're prepping the eye with a product called Polydorf Eye Light. It has a little bit of iridescence to it. And it's a great base for a very thin application of a shimmery product. I'm going to be using a product by Inglot for the eyebrows. This is a palette that you can actually put together if you'd like. These are two eyebrow products. These are four concealer products. These are four lipstick products. Or you can put it together and just have all eyeshadows, all blushes, and then they're all magnetized, <laughs> sticking to my palette and it makes for a very compact case. This cream brow product is very good with this Asian eyebrow because the eyebrow has a tendency to grow downward. I'm gonna go along with the cream first. I'm going to dip the brush now in the powder palette and continue on drawing the hairs. By using both the cream and the powder, I'm making it not only more durable and not only more dimensional, but more theatrical. The lighter color is going over the fold. There's a little bit of pink that's going around this way and then it gets darker. And underneath the eye, the same thing. There's a little bit of light right here and pink surrounding both sides. And I'm gonna first start with a light color. It's always easier to start with a lighter color. Right up about to the brow, almost down to the lash line, but not quite. And I'm going to take a, pr a brush that's got a very sharp edge and do the same thing under the eye right here. Right here, and right here. I'm going on to the second shape that I'm seeing, and that's right here. Just a little bit on the lid. I'm not attempting to draw it up or create any shapes. I'm just following the exact anatomy of my model. I'm going on to the next shape that I'm seeing, which is right here. You see it right underneath the eye. It doesn't have to be perfect yet, because we're going to clean it up. We're getting deeper in our tones. The next shape that I see extends from here all the way up to the brow, right here. It kind of drifts off. I'm going to take that color and extend it down here, look up, just on the outer part underneath the eye. And this is our template. I'm going to into the deeper purple. I'm going to go in that direction. I'm take a tight brush and literally blend this color into here. And I'm going to try and keep this line here a little bit and then gradate it down to create the shape and then gradate it up. And of course, we want everything to blend together seamlessly. So I'm taking a very sheer pink frost and blending together with a brush that is the same shape as the shape upon which I'm working. And this is giving us even more iridescence and making everything pull together. Now when we do the entire face, we're gonna draw some more of the color down into the cheeks so it will look a little bit more natural. I love it. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> we're gonna make it even more interesting. Then we go back with a really small brush or series of brushes and just refine it. For example, under here we wanted a very narrow line of the, the shocking kind of pink. And that's highlighting. It's making the shimmer above it look even more pronounced. I'm going to try and use this new product we have from Inglot. It's an illuminator, face and body illuminator. And I'm using it in kind of a golden color. It's nice. It actually is mm -hmm. <laughs> A bit of Linda Mason Vodka Cube, which I love. Do it right on top of what we've already done. For 
before we even get to the point where we're going to actually put the color on the cheeks, we've got to get the foundation down. And I'm going to mix up a combination of cat foundations. In other words, this is a, a warm tone and a cool tone. We're mixing them together. I'm going to back bubble to mix the colors and create one beautiful color. I'm going to put some blush in this brush. Now we're going to powder the face. Any excess, we're going to brush away with the brush. This orange actually is going to go into the highlighted area and connect the two shapes together. I'm going to use another brush so that I further define the texture that I want to create. Using this orange, blending it into the red. I like it, <laughs> but we need that crazy lip. I'm going to first follow the shape of the mouth. I'm putting more black on this color so that it's not so bright. Obviously this picture has been a little bit photoshopped um, and there's a light, very light area in the center of her face and that's probably due to a light source as well as Photoshop. But let's try to duplicate that a little bit with some extreme foundation, really light. And let's try to punch up the color more to make more contrast. So then we're done. I'm going back over there with my pink and my orange, and I'm going to blend them together. We're also going to finish off this application with a set of lashes, not one, but two. I'll start out with this as a bottom lash. And there we have it. We had a lot of fun. We played with beauty makeup using theatrical techniques inspired by the runway look of Lu Wen, a model for Victoria's Secret, and Estee Lauder. And I want to thank Angelica, who is an amazingly good sport, and a wonderful person, and a terrific model. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching.